to y'all and happy new year i hope you can hear me good i hope you can see me with this sun it's awful bright but i'm making this video today because i wanted to tell you about my next medical experience but this one came out to be really really wonderful so i'm right here in Concal at this place called camu and it is clinical um analysis medical urgency or something like that oh clinical attention medical urgency and they are open 24 7 and oh my goodness so when you go in it is um like a mini hospital they have nine or ten bays that have you know curtains around them just like being in the er and they the difference was they didn't uh, like, you know, in the US, you have to fill out all that paperwork when you're deathly ill. But they um, just took me straight in the room. They didn't take any vital signs. The guy didn't ask me what was wrong. I just said I wanted to see the doctor and he put me in the room. So the reason why I wanted to go was because my ear is bothering me. Um, I was thinking maybe I had an ear infection. My ear and my throat on that side so she looked at me the doctor and uh came up with the fact that it's my throat not my ear because my ear looked fine but let me tell you about the doctor and i apologize for the noise and i'm trying to walk and watch where i'm going so i don't wind up back in there with a broken bone so i got in at 107 I saw the doctor at 1.30. There were maybe about five other patients in the rooms. Um, but the doctor, nicely enough, spoke English. Now, I wasn't expecting her to, as some people have commented, why do you, uh, foreigners expect people to speak English? Well, no, I didn't expect her to. I had my phone with Google Translate all ready to go. But she did, and that was a pleasant surprise. So she thoroughly checked me out. She came back with the prescriptions, which were printed out. She explained to me how she wanted to take the medicines. And then I went in the front to pay, and it was 300 pesos, which is about $15, $16 for that visit and that was um, a shock. I didn't expect it to be that cheap, but yes it was and I'm very um, happy about that. Okay, got a little quieter space. So yeah, that was a wonderful experience. I made sure to let her know that I had uh, a pretty bad experience at another location but that was a wonderful experience. And I definitely will come there for all my small needs. Now, the reason why I say that is because they only do small needs. She said they can do minor stitches. They don't have x-rays. If you break a bone, you'll have to go to hospital. But if you have something like a kid with an ear infection or you're having, I don't know, find something you got an eye infection ear infection your throat sore you think you got the flu I mean I don't know same things that you would go see pretty much in an urgent care UTI things like that <laughs> but um, yeah it was a definite um, pleasant experience it's right here in Concal so I don't have to go all the way into Alta Brisa or any of the other areas to find a doctor. Um, I know that this place is very clean, it's professional, and that's where I'll be going. Um, but what I wanted to tell you was two things about medical services and medicines here in Medida. So because we're foreigners and we don't speak the language, a lot of times we feel like it's enough for us to just get in a place, 
figure out how to communicate our needs or what we want, pay for it, get out the door. But there's a lot of places that offer discounts that you need to ask because you don't have to spend the money that you normally would have spent. And sometimes it's just not gonna tell you. You have to ask, just like the pharmacy video that I did before, I never knew about that bonus card where you can get discounts on different things. But that's one of the things that I'm talking about. And the second thing is Pharmacia Similaris uh, I talked about them before. A lot of people are aware of them, and a lot of them do have doctors in there that you can see for basically free. But Pharmacia Similaris, on Mondays, everything is 25% off. So if you're going to do your monthly refills on your medication, wait till Monday. That doesn't just apply for medication. It applies for perfumes, beauty products, and... I think it said food or something like that. But yeah, you wouldn't know that. I wouldn't have known that until I went on their website and did a um, Google Translate. And boom, there it is. 25% off is quite a bit of money, especially when something doesn't cost that much anyway. You're basically close to getting it for nothing. So always ask when you go in certain places like that, do they have discounts? Now... We talk about my bad experience at Star Medica. <clears throat> I get an email the other day to sign up for some for some free membership. So the membership includes 15% discount in the ER, 25 no, excuse me, 15% discount in the ER, 10% discount on laboratory imaging inpatient and outpatient hospitalization and they advertised that they had discounts on maternity packages so once again that's something that I don't I wouldn't have known um, but I don't know if that package or that membership is available to anyone like they sent it to me maybe because I had been there already and they want me to keep coming back. I don't know if you've never been there that you can just sign up for it or not. But still, it goes back to what I was saying. There are discounts to be had out here. You just have to ask. And yes, because of the language barrier, we don't know this. We don't think to ask it because like I said, we are doing accomplishments just going in a place, trying to communicate with Google Translate or some, you know, rudimental Spanish um, and get the things that we need and then um, feeling like we accomplished something, right? So always ask for, for discounts because we want that money. And I thought this would be the perfect time to add, whoa, that um, speaking of money, I do have a link to my PayPal down in the description box or in my about somewhere in there and I also have a link to my coffee account if you want to buy me a Diet Coke not coffee okay guys I'm in pharmacy of Similaris and I told you on Mondays your medicine is 25% off but he just told me on Tuesdays and Sundays if you're buying um, more than one like say uh, you have to take a couple pills a day and the bottles are small so you need a couple bottles to make a 30-day supply they are buy three get two free or yeah buy three or get two free so and that's only for certain products I think but that's something you might want to check out so you might want to come on a Tuesday or a Sunday as well okay y'all my medicine was 258 pesos, which is about uh, $12, $13, I guess. Now, he did say that the doctor right here is here Monday through Friday from like 10 a.m. Sorry about that. 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., but the weekends, 
not so much i think he's only here till 12 he or she is only here till 12 but that is where you can come and they basically will give you a consultation for free and then the medicines are right there there's a grocery store right here it's called duno susa okay 7 a.m to 10 p.m here's a clothing store This is a nice little store that sells wrapping paper, party supplies, ribbon, gift bags, right in the Konkow Square. I will probably try to take a um, one of them little motorcycle things home. Y'all, this is a very big fruit place and vegetables. Oh, look at those. They got papayas, they got those little piñas, I'm telling you, those usually are the sweetest, uh, as opposed to the big pineapples. But they got um, low supplies, so if that bothers you, well, hey, you in the wrong place. They have bananas, they got squash, carrots, um, cabbage, onions, potatoes, lettuce, I see in the back is some spices, zucchini, um, bell peppers, garlic, lots of things. So this is located not too far from the church, down the road, going away from, going deeper into Kung Pao. Now, I know you saw the flies. And unfortunately, that is a reality of a lot of different countries. Just take it home and wash it. I mean, you know, people are like, oh my God, I can't eat that. Look, <laughs> when I was in Africa, we bought chickens out of the back of a, of a truck that was like a U-Haul. They opened it, they were hanging in there, no refrigeration. They were covered, when I say covered in flies, you couldn't even tell it was chicken. It was so many flies on it. Take it home, scrub it real good, and then um, just uh, cook it. Cook a few flies with it. It's not gonna kill you. Cause I'm still here. I'm not dead yet. I had to sit down and rest for a minute. I'm in a lot of pain. My back is killing me. Um, it's a good breeze out here, but <clears throat> The heat is returning in Merida. Um, I had to use my air conditioner uh, at night for two nights and downstairs the last two days I've had to use it. I noticed my plants outside. That's what I gotta do when I get home. Water my plants because there's no automatic sprinklers in the back and they're looking pretty bad. So that's on my list of things to do when I get home. And um, I'm just looking for uh, one of them little carts. I see a couple passing by, but people are on them. But um, I'll get up in a minute and go look for one. Okay, so I'm at this little stand that says something about some Crocs, but it say motor taxi. I will be perfectly honest with you depending on how long I have to wait I may just walk because it's hot and there's no shade so if one don't pull up in the next three minutes I'm just gonna start walking Okay, I got out early because I wanted to stop at this little store right here by my house. Um, they got Mentos and I am hooked on Mentos. So I bought the whole box from him. But let me tell you about the little cart ride, okay? Um, it was decent. I probably needed sunglasses or putting my reading glasses on because the dust 
does get in your eyes that the cars are kicking up. And <laughs> if you got hemorrhoids, let me tell you, when they go over those topes and those uh, potholes, you're gonna be in trouble. Um, or if you gotta use the bathroom real bad, you know how that goes, going over a bump. And also, um, we hit one pothole. Thank goodness I wasn't talking because I probably would've bit my tongue off. But other than that, it was only 10 pesos. And that is really good. I don't even know what 10 pesos is in um, US dollars, but I'm assuming it's like a quarter, maybe? Or maybe less than that, I don't know. I'm gonna have to do the conversion. But yeah, I'm gonna walk the rest of the way home because this road is shady, even though it's creepy. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this little video was informational to you. Now you know where you can go in Concao to see a doctor for minor issues and you don't have to go all the way into the city of Merida and the prices are not going to be that expensive, you know, to go to Pharmacia Similaris and get your medicines, especially on a Monday with 25% off or on Tuesday or Sunday where you can get three, buy three, get two free. Or I think he said buy two, get one free or something like that um, in addition. And you know that those little, I don't know what they call them. They're not tuk-tuks. But whatever they are, the motorcycle taxis are relatively cheap. Now, I could have got the guy's phone number and text him on WhatsApp. And I think they will pick you up at the gate if you're not busy, if they're not busy. But I forgot to do that because I was really thinking about getting in there and getting my Mentos. But don't forget to do that if you take one. So, guys... Until we meet again, keep moving. Happy New Year. Bye. Feliz Año, should I say. Feliz Año Nuevo or Feliz Año, however. Um, but yeah, bye.